Welcome to Everyday Vlogging with Rich Pacini. My name is Rich Pacini, and it's glad, I'm glad you could stop by and hang out for a while. <laughs> um, as part of my Everyday Vlogging, um, I, I'm going to be doing different things as uh, those who are subscribed, have been subscribed for a while, they heard me talking about this here for a while, you know, it's quite some time now. And uh, I just want to give a shout out to the new subscribers who recently subscribed to my channel. It is greatly appreciated. I hope you like the content I put out and you can come back for more. While you subscribe to this channel, you're going to be getting me talking about different topics, different things. Um, I'm still going to be doing like little blurbs out there about the reselling news. You know, you can't forget that altogether. Uh, that will still be part of my everyday vlog. You know, it depends. On some cases, if I feel it's newsworthy to put out there, I'm sure I can get it every day. I do get Google alerts every day about different businesses. YouTube, Etsy, Macari, you name it, I get them. But the only thing is, the reason why I don't talk too much expand on each of those there, because this could go on for hours. Now, I don't know, I don't think anybody's gonna wanna hang out and watch my YouTube channel for an hour or is on end. Although, if I like the person, I like the content, I probably would. But anyway, I just wanna share some things with you guys out there. Um, one of the things I wanna share with you is the uh, the, how I, you know, how I progress. I got this thing from YouTube, uh, from YouTube creators, and uh, I'm going to share it with you in a second. And uh, you know, I, I have to share it. I want to share it. It's it's something that I think is good, you know. And I want to talk about some other things. I'm going to expand on a couple other topics that deal with that relate to YouTube as well. And uh, well, rather than just sitting here and talking about it, let's get right to it. Okay. Let's bump over here, and we will go right over. Here. Here, I think that's the one I want. Oh no, maybe is it this one here? No, this one here. Well, anyway, um, I just want to th th some of the things I want to share with you guys. Well, for starters, this is my Twitter account. Okay, as you can see, folks, um, I do want to give a shout out to all the followers uh, who follow me on Twitter, uh, and it's because of you as the reason why I have this many uh, people right now followers, uh, for all you subscribers out there. I don't know if you're sharing and passing a word. I hope you do. Um, you know, you know. The more, the merrier. <laughs> um, I'm surprised I got that many. Uh, well, I'm surprised at some point. I mean, I, I wouldn't be that bit surprised because, like I said, I think stuff, the stuff I put out is pretty good content. Um, so I think there are, if, if I get this many followers, I think they do like, you know, like the content I put out. So uh, I try to tweet on a daily basis, but not all the time. Uh, I know I really should devote more time to, uh, you know, my Twitter account as well. But, um, you know, it, it's hard sometimes because, you know, when you're doing videos and, you know, you, you're, I, I, I'm all over the place. I still got photos to take pictures of. Um, I had a couple of sales uh, a couple of days, you know, like I said, the day before, and I'm still waiting for the uh, buyers to make payment. Uh, I sent the invoice out twice. They, I, they, were both accept, uh, they were both best offers, and I accepted both because I want to move the merchandise. I, I want to get these items out. I had them for, for God knows how long. So, you know, outside of that going on there, um, you know, we'll see what's happening with that. Uh, I, I can't get the stuff shipped out unless they pay. So those items are just going to sit there dormant until they, uh, until they pay. I hope they pay soon. And, uh, you know, I just want to share some things that I, you know, that I think might be of interest to you, I hope. Uh, for example, look at over here, uh, your tweet activity. Now, this is pretty impressive. Look, I'm a small-time person here. Um, look, it goes on to say your tweets earned 3,545 uh, 3, impressions over the last week. That's pretty good. I think that's pretty good for a small-time guy. I mean, I'm not popular, but I think that's pretty good, right? Uh, I only got five likes, but it would be nice. And the uh, tweets are 4,510, right, 4,510, and I'm following 880, uh, 888 people. So uh, there's some progression there. I also got this here uh, I want to share with you guys. Uh, what happened here? Something cuter. Woo. All right, let's go over here, and then we're going to jump to the other ones. <laughs> um, I don't know what happened with that there, but I wanted to share something with you guys, and it looks like it bumped me off. But check this out in the meantime, guys. Look at this. Uh, this is from YouTube. It says, uh, RJ Pisani, your month in review is here, plus YouTube Rewind. Um, you know, when you make uh, videos, of course, you consider a YouTube creator. So look at this here. It says, uh, happy YouTube-versary. It has been, uh, it, wait, it has been more than... 1,576,800 minutes since your first upload. That's three whole years. And then it goes on to say here, here's how your channel did this month. I got 20, I gained 20 uh, plus subscribers, 12,133 views, and minutes watched is 28,064. 
and it says here's how your community responded I got 116 likes 65 comments 66 posts and 35 shares and then it goes on to say here um, I'm not going to get too much into it it's just going to say hi Richie J. Bassini is finally December which means it's time for the holiday fun and look back at the creator highlights from 2018 from creators from change films uh, uh, from yeah from change for wait from creators for change films to YouTube rewind it's here this month it's all about revi uh, reliving great moments and getting inspired for 2019 thanks again for another great year Mick drop, uh huh, keyboard drop. Okay, whatever that is. <laughs> anyway, I wanted to share with you. But the thing is, um, what I really want to share about, I don't know if I could find it here. Uh, it looks like it bumped me off. It bumped me off, folks. All right, let me hold on for a second. Bear with you for one second, folks. Okay, so this is what I was looking for, folks. I'm sorry. I don't know what happened there. You just seen that that error. I just came up. That message that came up. I don't know what it was that. That was all about. Uh, my computer is a little flaky sometimes, so. <laughs> I don't know what that was all about. But anyway, check this out. Um, here's a YouTube uh, top earner. is a seven-year-old who made $22 million playing uh, playing with toys. Now, this here came out December 5th. This was yesterday. Okay? And this is, I don't know if you guys are familiar with Ryan's toy review. Um, I checked it out. I think it's really nice. It's, uh, it's cute, you know, the way the kid talks about, you know, toys. He plays with them and... It's really funny when you think about it, right? Check this out here. I want to just read this really quick. It says, our bosses may, may suspect some, uh, some of just, just play around all day, right? Maybe that's not such a bad idea. It certainly paid off for a seven-year-old boy named Ryan who earned $22 million last year for uploading YouTube videos of him playing with toys. Forbes just released its highest paid YouTube stars of 2018. The list is packed with fresh-faced earners who made millions by entertaining followers, gaming skills, pranks, makeup, uh, makeup tutorials, and merchandise reviews. Ryan of to Ryan's toy reviews uh, mus uh, muscled his way to the top of the channel, which has 17.3 million followers he launched in 2015. The secret to his success is ridiculously simple. First, <laughs> film yourself opening a toy. Ryan plays with everything from dinosaurs to Legos to Disney action figures and surpasses uh, and surprise eggs. Then explain what the toys features uh, wh while playing with them. Finally, upload a video to YouTube. Cha-ching, you're a multimillionaire. <laughs> Actually, there must be more to his success than just maybe uh, may, than that. Maybe, but Ryan, whose family won't reveal their last name, said on an NBC interview, his personality is the key. Okay. Um. What else does it go on to say here? Uh, it goes on to say, um, I'm entertaining and I'm funny, he said. Uh, that's certainly true. The videos aren't particularly as slick, but Ryan is cute as a, as a button. And then it says, this, is particularly, this particular video ranked 1.6 billion views in it. Ryan is one, uh, Ryan's on a hunt for surprise eggs containing Disney cars and Paw Patrol toys that are hidden inside the giant inflatable water slide. So now if you watch this here, you'll hear him. He must have a big house to do all this here because I know, <laughs> well, unless he's in a warm climate over here, you can't do stuff like that. But, uh, you know, it's pretty cool, though, to uh, be able to do this stuff here. But um, that's how it is, though. It's, you know, that's how it is. And then they have the other YouTube stars, but I'm not really too concerned with them, guys. Um, it goes on to say about $21 million comes from uh, pre-roll advertising from his of his channels. Falls reported as views, uh, as views mount. And Ryan has more than everyone uh, than everyone else on Forbes' list. So does the automated ad dollars. And the rest of the money comes from sponsored posts. Other YouTube stars earn uh, far far more in sponsored posts. But Ryan's audience, which happens to be children, really doesn't have a lot of di uh, disposable income. And then it says over here, Ryan uh, is also also his own line of collectibles. Ryan's World sold at Walmart. That's pretty good. So uh, it just goes to show you, right, uh, you know, to make money. People make money in all different facets, you know. It's like, but this kid here, I got to hand them you know, kudos to him, you know. Uh, this is great, you know, for a seven-year-old, $22 million, that's great. And then you get the things that happen like this here, which is also a little interesting here. Uh, I get these from Google Alerts, which uh, YouTube as well. Uh, the only reason why I'm sharing this with you guys is because um, I got that, that uh, email from you, um, YouTube, uh, you know, telling me that I did good, whatever. So uh, this came into play. You know, it's one of those things that was all tied in. Uh, this one over here, YouTube creators blindsided by major network collapse. More than 80 employees were allegedly laid off and hundreds of thousands of dollars are still missing. This came out yesterday, December 5th, 2018. And it goes on to say here, uh, 
I'm not going to read the whole story. Ridland, uh, Ryland Adams, one of YouTube's most prominent creators, best known for his collaborative work with his uh, friend Shane Dawson. His, his, uh, <clears throat> and his time as a host on uh, Clever, a YouTube channel owned by multi-channel network Defy Media. Uh, he's made a name. He, he made a name and living for himself through YouTube career and network partnership, but with the uh, with that partnership now collapsing, he still owed large sums of money. Now that the fire has shut down operation, he has no idea if he'll ever get paid. See, these things happen, folks. You know, I mean, unfortunately, uh, I'm sure these guys are going to still do good. Um, it goes on to say over here, the fire media notified the employees that they no longer had jobs, and called us a few days later to be like. By oh, by the way, not only are we no longer in the company, uh, we're no longer a company, but uh, they have held out checks. Adam said in a video posted on the channel, on his channel, uh, they literally stole my money. I should have gotten my check three days before the company uh, they have folded as a company, but instead they chose not to pay us out and then flop. Anyway, if you want to read this story, folks, just go to the Verge. Okay, just go to theverge.com here, and uh, you can take it from there. See up here? I got that thing. I'm not going to click it on here. It looks like another error. I don't know what it is. Every time something like this happens, I get that crazy message. I don't know why. I really don't. Let's let's X out and see if it starts booming again, making that sound. Uh, the other thing is over here, folks, I just wanted to say really quick, um, the eBay Top Rate Sellers Group is growing. It's growing in leaps and bounds pretty much. I'm not saying you know, people ain't dying to get into it, but it's growing. Um, even getting people who want to be friends. Here's a person who wants to be a friend. Um, I will confirm them too. I'm going to confirm them. I also have another window open for top rated sellers. I'm going to move over there really quick. And uh, you can see here three people want to join. But look at over here how many we got 1,204 members. And we're going to add this person here. Okay, we're going to add that person. And we're going to see if anybody else came in. Okay, once I confirm these people, then we could add to that number. Okay, I just welcomed in, I think, eight just before. There was, I think, a total of eight I, I just, uh, you know, welcomed into the group. If you guys want to join the top eBay Top Rate Sellers group, you don't have to be an eBay Top Rate Seller. You could be an Etsy seller, a Macari seller, whatever. You don't, and you don't have to be top rated. This is an open forum, folks. Anybody can join, okay? You're more than welcome to join. So please don't think, oh, that's the only way to get in there. And there ain't no... Uh, you know, rules and regulations, like sometimes you go into these things, that, you know, like sometimes you join a group, you get these questionnaires. Uh, like I, I sometimes I subscribe to the religious ones there and they say you're a Catholic or you're this and that and so on. Well, do you believe in, you know, and so on and so forth. Uh, and then you got to answer these questions. I don't have that there. The only thing I will do here, okay, I will do, the only thing I do uh, do on this on this group and all my other groups I have, I have a total, a total of four different uh, Facebook groups. I do check out... Uh, what that person who's coming into the group or wants to join the group, or what they're all about. Now, I've been getting a lot of crazy things, a lot of spam. Uh, you're getting, you know, uh, different people wanting to join this group for all different reasons. Some think it's a dating site. Some post stupid things on there. I just decline them. I mark them as spam and I decline them. Uh, you know, and, and you know, I, when, when you and, and here's a telltale sign. When you get uh, a person that comes up and says they want you to like another person's site. Uh, I've t had that many a times. It's a lot on this channel too, on the eBay top rate sellers, and, and some of the other channels. Uh, when you click it on, it takes you to a site that's not so nice. If you get my drift, um, I just decline them and mark them as spam. I can't. I don't know how to get rid of it. I don't know how to, to uh, you know get rid of that there. But it happens a lot. Okay, and it's really annoying. It really annoys me so much. But uh, it is what it is. What am I going to do? And last but not least. Um, I've told you guys many times before, I love this this uh, you know website here, it's ecommercebytes.com. If you get a chance, you might want to check it out. Uh, the URL for it is www.ecommercebytes.com. Check it out, and uh, you can see the different topics they talk about. She updates it. Ina Stein is the owner and founder of uh, ecommerce bytes, uh, and you can see the latest updates. Now, this is for yesterday, December 5th, of course, uh, but you can check it out, and uh, you can click it on here, and it'll take you right to that link. So, um, this space I want to share with you guys, and the other thing I wanted to share at the end, I'm going to bump out of here, and we are going to... to call it quits for today. Well, maybe, I don't know. I'm going to see if I can do some of the reseller news. I don't know. I just want to share some of that YouTube information with you guys. Um... 
I know it's crazy, it's a little off candid, but I did it anyway. Like I said again, this channel is gonna be a little different. The format's gonna be a little different. So I hope you guys will subscribe and keep coming back for more. Um, I hope you can't, you know what it is? I wanna keep it interesting. You know, I think it's great that, you know, if a person will take the time initiative to do something off key sometimes, you know? And I, I have been doing off key stuff <laughs> with this channel. And, it, you know, as time goes on, I, like I said again, I'm going to be talking about different things, discussing different things. So um, I hope you don't get turned off by it. I hope you could, you know, get something out of it. It's part of my everyday vlogging, okay? That's, that's, why, that's why I changed the title, everyday, everyday Vlogging with Rich Bassini, right? Sharing stories and news about everyday life. It's true. I might do a, I might, I might do a news caption. I might find something interesting in the news. I might just pop it in there and put a little little icon up there in the news for today or whatever. And uh, if you want to share, you know, you, if I want to share with you guys, if you want to check it out, that's great. I really do appreciate it. Um, but I also want to say one thing, too, while we're on the topic of that. Uh, for me, I mean, you might people say, well, what's so great? For the achievements I made so far being on YouTube and with my uh, Twitter and Facebook groups, um, I, the achievement I made is it couldn't have been done without you guys out there. All right. Um, you know, to, for the new subscribers. Now, you might say, well, how do they get to relate? I don't even, you might be a subscriber to this channel and say, I don't even, I'm not even a member of your Facebook group. I don't even follow you on Twitter. So why are you thanking me? Well, I, I, I don't know because I don't know who's who. Like, you know, I don't know if you do follow me on Twitter. And I don't know if you are a member of the, uh, the eBay Top Rate Sellers group. Um, but I know you're a member here because you subscribed. But I just figured I just pull it in there. And, you know, just say, again, thank you and give that shout out to anybody or everybody and anybody who has, you know, liked, commented, and shared with this. Maybe you have made, uh, maybe you may have uh, liked it on Facebook or maybe you may have shared it on Twitter. Who knows? I don't know, you know, but I just want to, like I said, you know, I want to keep it an open, an open forum and an open thank you to all of you guys out there, you know, whether you are a subscriber or not, or maybe you may just, maybe you might have just bumped into this just YouTube channel out of curiosity to see what this guy is all about. Maybe you've seen the banner somewhere, or maybe you were doing a Google search about everyday vlogging, and, you know, my name popped up, and he's like, oh, what is, this, what is this guy all about? Let me see what he's all about. I don't know, you know, but I just thought I'd share with you. But the thing I did, I wanted to finish up with this here, and uh, this is going to be at the end of the video. Um, I went to my local dollar store. All right. Now, I know people are going to say, I know. I know where this is going. You're going to tell me about the stuff you bought. Yes, I am. I'm going to tell you the stuff I bought. Um, I, I also want to explain in there. I think I, I did the video. I just got to upload it. Um, I, do, I do explain that I am not affiliated with Dollar Tree whatsoever. Uh, no, they have not contacted me to uh, upload a video or talk about their products. Um, and, you know, and I'm not affiliated with them in any way, and I'm not getting any endorsements. I'm not getting. I'm not making any money over it. I'm just sharing it. That's part of my everyday vlogging. So um, I'm going to end this video, and uh, I'm going to share that with you guys, and then maybe I'll just close it out at the end or whatever. But uh, you know, I just go over what I picked up, and I tell you what I bought for the price and what I what I paid for everything at the end of the video. At the end of the uh, you know, uh, video there, I talk about how much I spent for it, and I show you the receipt and everything, you know. But, um, you know, I just thought I'd share it with you guys, you know. So, anyway, uh, I'm going to pause my camera. I'm going to go to the video, you know, upload that video with there, and let you see what I purchased, and then we're just going to go back and close the video out. Okay, guys? All right. Hang out. I'll be right with you. See, Mr. Fugality here. You're probably saying, uh-oh, what does he got? He's got all his bags on the table over here. Yeah, well, these are some of the things I picked up in my local dollar store, and I just wanted to share it with you guys. You can't beat it, to be honest with you. For everything you see here, I'm going to go take it all out and show you. I'll tell you the price after I finish it, but you'll probably be calculating it as I go along anyway. But check this out. This is what I got, all right? Now, and I'm not endorsing them. I don't get anything for it. Uh, dollar Tree has not contacted me and say, make this video. I'm doing it on my home. It's part of my everyday vlogging, if you want to. If you want to know the truth. So I figured I'd just share it with you guys, right? I mean, what the heck? Yeah, that's what daily vlogging is all about. You talk about whatever. So anyway, let's start off with this. I picked up this here, Oscar Mayer bologna, right? Made with chicken and pork, right? Beef, all right? Now, some people may say, yeah, it's processed meat. I don't care for it. But hey, what are you going to do? You know, people leave things like that. I don't eat this every day. This is like a once in a while thing. But you know, I just thought I'd share it with you. Here we got over here. Farmer John, maple pork links. Look at this, yeah. I mean, it's for people who don't shop in these stores. They probably think, ah, geez, I don't know. We eat the store and the stuff in the dollar store? Why not? I've been eating it. I'm still around. I'm still alive and breathing. <laughs> Here's another one. I like chicken franks, right? 
Here's another one, Bar S. Now, this here is at my local supermarket. This is not the dollar store, but the dollar store sells the same thing. And if you go to a local supermarket, this here, these hot dogs here, I think they're about two and change. So you can't beat this for a buck, right? Okay, so let's see what else we got here. Raviolis. Now, I stock up on these. I think I got about three packs ready in the freezer. These here, these Peed Brothers, since 1967, cheese raviolis are excellent. I, I recommend if you like raviolis, cheese raviolis, you got to try them out. I don't know about your local dollar store or Dollar Tree if you got it in your area. You might want to try this out, though. Really good. I highly recommend it if you like raviolis. Let's get that one on the side. Beans. Hanover. Brown sugar beans. Look at the sizes here. Uh, 26. One pound. Look. One pound of beans. And these are good, folks. These are good. Look at the size of the can. Big can. A buck. Brown sugar. Perfect balance. Baked ham. Uh, baked in flavor. Really good. You got to try it, folks. That's what you're looking for when you go to Hanover. All right. Um, let's see. Pasta sauce. Hunts puts out. That's a brand name. Look. Right? Hunts pasta sauce. Uh, this here is 24 fluid ounces. Well, it says one pound. We have one pound, eight ounces, whatever. I don't know. That's what it says over there. See the label? See it? Can you see the label? There. It's right there. Very good. Hunts. You know, people heard of Hunts. Hunts, uh, you know, the Hunts pasta sauce, whatever. Good. Let's keep moving right along here. My favorites. Now, if you guys are familiar with Libby, I like Libby's. Libby's is good. They got the, this is what they got over there. And sometimes, folks, the dollar store, these are not, we pick us, well, these are a dollar, right? Sometimes the dollar store even charges you 79 cents for these cans. And I always like to get my three favorite things because I like my vegetables. Now, people must say, well, if you want healthy stuff, you get steamed vegetables where you get fresh vegetables. That's true. But if you're a person like me that's on the go all the time and have time for all that stuff, cooking, steam, whatever, you might want to get these. See, I did a video on how I prep, this, uh, prep the canned goods uh, via by the microwave, okay? So I always like that. My other one I like to get is uh, whole kernel sweet corn. These are the trees I always get. Every time I go, I always pick these up. And my other favorite one is sliced carrots. Now, if you ever tried Libby's, again, any of these companies, I'm, in, I'm not endorsing them. I'm just telling you what I like, what I eat, and I'm just sharing with you guys. So we got that going on, okay? Let's move that right around here. Here's the other thing. Now, I go to my local store, my supermarket. I end up getting, um, what do you call it there? Uh, these here, eggs. Now, for a, a dozen eggs, these are, now they're brown. Now, in case you wonder, people always wonder, like, I always thought that was a, you know, if, if people don't know, the difference between the white eggs and the brown eggs. Brown eggs come from brown head, a brown hen, and the white eggs come from a white hen. That's all the difference is. Now, if you look at these, see, if I didn't tell you, and I said these are organic, you'd think, because most likely, most of the time, you look at organic eggs, they're always brown. Okay? Now, I know people are saying, well, that's the way that the chickens are fed, and well, that's the that corn fed, this, that, and the other thing, and, you know, whatever. But anyway, can you beat it? Medium eggs, a dollar. Medium. Um, I go to my local store. I buy English muffins. Gourmet, been buying these here for a long time, you know, since the store opened up. I love them. Fresh, nice and soft. Never had a problem with them. A buck. My local store, they're about two dollars, two fifty, depends what kind of bread you buy, okay? Two fifty for one pack. Here for two fifty I can buy two packs. Okay. So we'll put that over there. Uh, I don't, I'm not really a soda drinker, but you know, the kids like it once in a while. My daughters like to have soda once in a while. Look at the size of this bottle here. This is uh, 1.32 quart, okay, as you can see there. Pepsi is my favorite drink. It always was. I don't keep it normally in the house. I mean, the kids, they like it every once in a while. This is a treat. This is like going out for an ice cream, whatever. But uh, for a buck, look at this. How could you beat this stuff for a dollar? We'll get to the uh, non charge stuff in a minute. But anyway, let's continue right on here. Now, I like rye bread. Okay, it goes good if you toast it with butter or whatever. This is low-fat food, uh, see nutrition. Soft deli rye, seedless, okay? I, I like this. I toast this in the morning. I just have toast and coffee or toast the rye, whatever. Really good, okay? Very right, highly recommend. Gourmet puts it out, the same company that puts out the um, the English muffins, okay? So you want to check that out. The other thing we got here is same company. Gourmet, 100% whole wheat bread. Folks, you ever go into the store, in the super, your regular local supermarket, and buy whole wheat bread? Do you ever price it? Go price it when you go there if you want to buy whole wheat. Now, you might say, yeah, but this is from the dollar store. How good can it taste? It's good. you got to try it. Don't knock it until you try it, folks. Don't knock it until you try it. Seriously. 
Uh, we'll get to the non perishable ones in a minute here. Uh, one of my favorite things I like to drink is uh, this coffee here. See this here, coffee? It's instant coffee? Now, you might say, I'm, I like instant coffee. I've been drinking it for many years. I like it. I drink regular coffee too from the coffee maker, Mr. Coffee, whatever. I go out to the Dunkin' Donuts, I get that coffee sort. But this coffee here makes 32 cups. I usually stock up, I usually like two of these, but I have already some in there, so I like to stock up on it. Very good coffee. Um, I drink about four cups of this a day, and it doesn't bother me. Not not all the time, but every now and then I'll get the end for coffee. And I use a tea, a tea kettle with you know the water in there. I just have a clear tea kettle, not the, the, you know, the stainless steel one. And um, I put one teaspoon in there. Man, excellent. Coffee is good. And that's the one there. That's the brand of it right there, coffee. See, right there. Very good. You got to try it. Don't knock it until you try it, folks. Yeah, of course, you, I get the uh, 16 slices of, uh, this is from Sunny Acres, the American Slice Cheese here. Okay. Um, again, you go to your local store. Like if I go to Stop and Shop and I buy cheese like this, 16 pack, like, you know, 16 slices like this here. It shows it comes to like close to two bucks. Here you get 16 slices, same thing for a dollar. Uh, the only thing is, I think one's pasteurized processed sandwich steel uh, uh, slices, and then you got the other ones. I guess that's a regular type. I guess it is two types: it's processed and the processed. But hey, cheese is cheese, right? I mean, I know there's a difference. I know for the health notes, I just say, yeah, but that's processed. I know, I know, I know all about the processed stuff. Here, again, this is a treat. We don't always buy these here. I like to keep them in the house once in a while, just something to pick on. You got zero trans fat, okay? Home style select dipping uh, corn chips, okay? Goes good with soda. And if you want to have a little soda and corn chips to pick on it, whatever, if you have dips, you can get that. Uh, 160 calories, whatever. All right. See? Not bad. Nice size bag. All right. So we got that going on here. And I always like to keep these in the house, especially in like, the uh, cold days. I know people say, oh my God. This guy is frugal. <laughs> um, here's Top Ramen. Beef flavor. Now, I know people say the same thing. It's not healthy. A lot of salt and all that stuff and all that. But it's, see it over here? See what it says? No MSG added. All right? I buy two flavors. That's all I have. I buy the chicken flavor. And it's five. You get five in a pack. All right? And it's the same thing, Top Ramen. And uh, this is the uh, chicken soup, chicken flavor. And uh, same thing, you know, no added MSG, which is good. They used to never have it like that there, you know. And uh, they also have a thing up here, too. It says, uh, new recipe, same great taste. We removed the added MSG and now only use natural flavors. You see it right there. It says it right on the package up there, folks. See that? It's, it's, you know what? Believe it or not, I have, sometimes I have they, maybe one of these every other day or whatever, but it's nice to have that. Okay, so that's what I got. And, of course... Now with the non perishable I always like to pick up these here when I get an opportunity. I want them to usually get two of these here. The big, these are the biggest ones they have as far as like uh, padded envelopes. I like these folks for the simple reason as if you're putting clothes in there or if you got certain packages that you don't want to get damaged from. You know, this I like this preferably than the craft paper ones, you know what I'm talking about? If they get wet, if you put an item in there, it can get the you know, it can get the whatever, damaged, whatever it is. These here, um, they're good, they're padded envelopes. I usually like to buy these. I like to buy these in bulk. Uh, but, you know, I don't want to spend $25 for a whole box. I think $25 come in a pack. So I didn't have, they ran out of these, so I bought the little next size smaller. But uh, what I do with these folks, just to let you know, I um, I cut them in half. I make I make other envelopes out of these. I know it sounds crazy, right? Well, when you're frugal like me, that's why I consider myself a frugal entrepreneur, right? Uh, so I got two of those, different sizes, of course. Uh, paper towels, 56 sheets, a buck, two ply, right? And last but not least, it's probably not the greatest in the world, but a Berto VO5 Solutions Volumizer, right? I buy this here. Uh, it's vitamin formula, okay, five vitamin formula, whatever, amplifying shampoo, paraben free, boost and amplify, plus bright, and it's got there. Okay, now folks, again, I am not endorsing these companies. I don't get anything from them. I'm just telling you what I picked up over there at the local dollar store, and I just want to share it with you guys. Uh, and no, the Dollar Tree, nobody contacted me from the Dollar Tree and said, would you be nice enough to uh, make a video about the products you buy there? I'm just sharing this with you guys. If you haven't gone, if you haven't went to a Dollar Tree, check it out, folks. Listen, 
take it from me. I mean, I'm not, if you, if you do, if you decide to go, if you have one in your city, your state, whatever, um, and there's one available, check it out. You know, what do you have to lose? You know what I'm saying? You know, it's, it's not gonna, it's not gonna hurt you anything by trying it out. Uh, if anything, you know, you'll, you'll probably, you, you can save yourself some money. Now, all of this stuff here, you might say, okay, so all of this things you got here, my bill, uh, I'll get the bill over here, and I'll even show you, I'll even show you the bill too, just so you can prove it to you. All right, let me get it over here, my wallet, and let's, whoop, dropped it, okay. Now, this is the Dollar Tree, you can see here, all right, you can see here, you're probably saying, look at this guy, you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> Now here's the, here's the receipt. Can you see the receipt? I don't know. It's probably white out here, right? Probably white out. Here we go. Here is the uh, receipt. Okay, you can see it's the Dollar Tree. And I'm trying to see if I can get over here. So I can't see. It's, to me, it's glary over here. All right, I'm just trying to see. So when um, you go there, dollar, 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 dollar. See, 79 cents. That's for the uh, cans. Those 79 cents are for the cans, just to let you know. So the cans, the, the Libby goods, you're not even getting those for a dollar. There's three of them. See, I bought three cans, 79 cents. And you keep going, keep going, keep going. And there is my bill. $22 and what? There you go. And again, it's at the Dollar Tree. And again, like I said again, I am not getting any, I'm not getting any, uh, I'm not paying any, no one's paying me to do this here. I just want to share it with you guys. But anyway, guys, I just wanted to share with you a quick video. Um, if you never went there, try it out. Just thought I'd share it. It's part of my everyday vlog, so I just thought I'd share that information with you guys. Listen, I'll talk to you next time. Uh, I'm going to see if I can do the reselling news today. I'm going to try to. If not, then mm, uh, we'll see what happens here because i got a lot of things going on right now. Um, i got my, you know, got relatives coming over later on. So I'm going to try to do what I can with the short period of time I have. And uh, we'll see where it, where it goes from there. Okay, guys, that concludes my video for today. Um, I don't know. Like I said, it's, it's 2 o'clock over here in the East Coast of New York. You might say, well, you probably could have time to do it. But right now i got family coming over later on. So... Uh, I'm just going to probably upload these videos and, you know, combine them with this, this particular video anyway. And uh, I can see, I got to see what time everybody comes by. Sometimes people always come on scheduled times, but we'll see how it goes. I may be able to sneak something in, if not later, not today, or earlier, um, but maybe later on at night time, whatever. I got to see what happens. But um, if you like the video I put out, folks, and if you like my videos in general, and I hope you like me as well, uh, please don't forget to subscribe like, comment, and share, and most important, if you want to be updated as to when I put new videos out, please hit that subscribe icon bell, uh, yep, no, the, uh, the bell notification icon, <laughs> and you will hit the, I'll hit the subscribe button too as well, I really need you to subscribe. Um, if you guys could help me out there, folks, uh, for people who do follow me on this channel, um, I really would love to, if possible, I, mean, I can only probably do it with your help. Uh, if you could subscribe to my, well, not only subscribe, but if you could also, you know, share this information with other people. Uh, I'm trying to get this YouTube channel to hit the thousand mark uh, as far as thousand subscribers. It's really, it's an uphill battle. It's hard. Uh, like I said, sometimes I get, uh, I might get two, I might get two new subscribers and then maybe a week later I might get two uh, unsubscribe. Um, I know my, my subscriber base goes up and down like a yo-yo, but, uh, and again, I know people may, you know, that have subscribed to me and say, ah, I don't know about this guy's content. I don't know if I really like it or not. But um, I hope you do stick around. I really do. I hope you like what I put out. Um, it's going to be different content, folks. Uh, it has to be. You know, I don't want to talk about the same things over and over again. It might just be, like I said again, it might be, I might do a video on whatever, you know. Uh, I, I said in my other videos, I was just talking to my sister the, uh, a little while ago that she was talking about, you know, how are you doing with the, you know, with the YouTube video channel, and I said, oh, I, I like it, I, I, it's getting there, it's, it's a slow pro uh, progress of, as far as getting a lot of subscribers, but it's getting there, I, I, I think there is some traction, some people do, uh, I think, like my videos, I would, I would hope, um, I told her, I said, I would like to, but not now, because, you know, until, until money starts coming in from eBay, uh, I would like to get a video, uh, uh, a drone, and do some aerial drone shots, you know, video, um, I think they all relate together to some point. Uh, I got that idea from a, one of the guys I follow, reseller. Uh, every now and then he'll post a, a drone picture. You'll see a picture like in his state where he lives, and he's got the drone, you know, circling around and looking at different things. And, uh, I'm thinking of doing that there. I would like to, um, you know, do that. A add that to the video and make it a little interesting, you know. Um, I always wanted to get one, but they're, they're, some of them are a little pricey, but I've seen some of them coming down in price, and... Uh, We'll see how it goes, you know. Uh, I know the Christmas season's coming around. Maybe, I don't know, my kids were asking me, Dad, what do you want? I said, I can't think of anything right now. I said, but I do, kind of like through the head, I do like a drone. So uh, they didn't ask, 
because they know it's kind of some of them could be very pricey but then again the one I was looking for uh, in my other video I talked about about I'm thinking about buying a drone I did a video about that um, they have one that's thing as top race TQ 511 or something like that uh, they got it for, I think for $39 I said how much is going for $44 and change um, so I mean I, I do have my eye on that one for $39 but then I seen on this company and I think I shared it with you guys once before called banggood.com they had a couple of nice uh, nice drones there they had one that was originally I think 129 not that I want to spend that kind of money it was down to I think 102 and what I like about that one the difference between the other one for $39 is you just fly it you don't have a uh, screen on you have a screen i guess that tells you i guess how many minutes whatever it is but you don't have you don't have a, a screen like the one i was looking at that one there and you, you use your cell phone and as you're flying the drone around you can see what the drone sees that's what you're seeing as opposed to the other one where you don't have it uh, it's basically done by sight so like you know i mean which is not a bad thing either you know i mean uh, you're not gonna have to think fly away so far where you can't see but you know if you're in an area an open field and you're going to uh you know videotape you most likely you're going to be in an area you know where you could see it you know that's what you want i would never fly mine if i had a drone i wouldn't fly it over water like i said once before my luck the batteries would die and they would think go in the water and i just threw 40 something dollars away in the water you know in the, in the, down the drain because i'm not going to go fetch it and swim it in the water for it you know what i'm saying <laughs> so that would be wasted money um, but for the most part, the one I, the one I was looking at, the other one, I was watching a, a YouTube video on it. They had the, the company did a video on it. Uh, this is a nice one. You um, for one hundred two dollars, and you use your cell phone. You calibrate it, whatever, and you have to upload the software that syncs with the um, the drone. It's also got the GPS in it as well. Uh, so I guess if it does for some reason fly out of out of view or something uh, let's say it does lose traction whatever you know it loses juice and it falls down somewhere hopefully it doesn't break um, you'll be able to track it down because it's got the GPS and I guess you would do that maybe it's got a jack tracking on the phone I, I guess they sync up together I don't know 100% of it but I'm thinking of looking at something like that um, again that's not in the budget right now even though people say that's cheap for a drone to be honest with you but I am very frugal and like I said I do buy out of necessity people may say well do you really need a drone um, not really, but I think it would be interested to add a little more spice up my YouTube channel a little. You know, maybe people might want to see certain things with it, you know. Take it to certain areas, open fields, or take it to places where, you know, I could show some beautiful, like, and I live on Long Island. There's some beautiful places out. If I go out in the island, you know, I could do some nice aerial views with that there, you know. Uh, so I'm thinking about that as well. But I, what I like about, like I said, I like the fact that you could use your cell phone, you know, you're holding you know, the rec receiver, the remote control, you could see, and and the uh, lens motor is motorized. It goes up and down. It pans up and down. So if you want to, if you're up and you want to move it down, you can move it down. Or if you want to open it up, and I don't know if it's a wide angle lens too. It's got some nice features. If I get the, if I remember what that one is, there, I'll post it up on the uh, YouTube channel. You can check it out for yourself. Again, and let me tell you something, folks. I have to, I can't, I have to save this here. Make it. You want to call it a disclaimer, or whatever. I don't get anything for this stuff. Okay, uh, the stuff I put out, I put stuff out like, and it might, you might say, well, you're endorsing it, you know, or, or you're, you know, you're, um, you know, you're, you're, you're talking about it, you know, maybe you are affiliate. I am not affiliate, and I don't endorse these things. Um, if you want to consider an endorsement, but I don't. Uh, nobody called me, like I said, when I, in my video I did about from the, uh, the products I bought from the dollar store. Uh, those companies that I talk about uh, did not endorse me. I'm not, I'm not, I don't have an affiliate links with them or not, you know, whatsoever. So I'm not getting anything for it. So if people sit there thinking, oh, this guy's making money off, I am not making, I'm making this off it, goose eggs, okay? Uh, I'm not making anything off it. Now, however, if it does get to a point where the companies pick up, let's say Dollar Tree picks up and they say, hey, we, we noticed you did a video on the products that you buy at our store. We're thinking of, you know, maybe sponsoring your YouTube channel or, you know, we want to, you know, make you an affiliate, whatever, which you consider doing. Well, why not? Why not? I mean, look, I want to make this channel grow, folks. Okay. I want it to grow like everybody else does. I don't do zany antics. You know, I mean, I, I mean, I like to kibitz around. I like to joke around and stuff like that. I mean, I, like I said, I, I'm, I do have some ideas as to what I want to do. Uh, no, you're not going to see me jumping off of buildings. You're not going to see me surfboarding and uh, riding motorcycles and jumping, you know, going high, doing high jumps and stuff like that. Uh, I do not do those type of dangerous stunts. I, I'm not going to do those type of dangerous stunts to make a YouTube video because in doing so, uh, you could end up in bad shape. Uh, there was a person, I think, I'm not mistaken, don't quote me on it. I think there was a person that uh, some, you, if you type in a Google search, I am not mistaken, uh, I think there were YouTube 
uh, creators that I think in, in making those YouTube uh, videos, I think some of them had passed on, had died from doing them. I don't, I don't remember which ones, but I think there has been situations like that. Uh, they try to do something, and later on, it turns off. To, uh, you know, something happens bad. I'm trying to think. There's one I was just thinking about. It was in the back of my mind. I read about it, and I can't remember. Um, oh my gosh! I don't know if it was one. I think somebody was doing something. There was a guy doing a video. Um, I think I don't know if it was YouTube tra tragedies, whatever. But this guy was trying to do a flip. I don't know if he was doing a backflip or something on a ledge on a building, and they, they said he fell to his death, you know, and things sort of like that. I, I, folks, first of all, I got hydrophobia. I got, I, I, I can't, I don't like heights. I don't, and I, like I said, I'm not one that's crazy about water. So I mean, I'm not saying I won't go on a boat. I've been on an ocean liner, you know, I went on a cruise ship, and I went on one time, and that was one enough for me. But uh, I will not do stunts like that. Okay, so. Um, but yeah, and that's what happens. But you know, getting back to the other thing, um, this video, this YouTube channel, is going to be a little, a little about this, a little about that, you know, a little this, a little that type of thing. So um, I hope you stick around. I hope you like the content I put out. You know, it'll be on the fly. I might be in New York City. I live 45 minutes away from. It. If I take the train, I might be telling uh, one day I'm going to go take a run into the train. I'm going to take a the train into New York City and show you some certain you know sites there, you know, Times Square or whatever. You know, it's going to be it's going to be a diversified channel, folks. I mean, the reseller news will still be the reseller news. Okay, there's no doubt about that. Uh, what they do today, I don't know. It's like I said, by the time I get finished with this, upload. I got to upload the other video I just did about the food I bought, right? The stuff I did at the Dollar Tree. So I got to upload that. Then I got to put it all together, mix and match everything, right? Uh, and then by the time I get you know, the video, the stuff gets converted into, um, you know, it, it, it uploads to uh, the software, it converts it. Then by the time I upload to YouTube, uh, that'll pick a deck, another story because I'll tell you the truth. Um, I did a video yesterday for 45 minutes. It was a 45 minute video. Believe it or not, folks, I don't have a state of the art computer. Okay, that's number one. So I don't have a lot of, I don't have any duty pile for RAM or memory and stuff like that. So, and I do have a lot of junk listed on my, my desktop. Um, it took about two hours, two and a half hours, maybe three tops to upload a 45 minute video. So uh, that just gives you an example of what it is. Now, this one here, I don't know. I'm going to be rattling on. This one might be the same thing. So by the time I finish this, uh, doing it, whatever, and uploading it, it's going to be close to dinner time. You know. So that's what I'm trying to say. I don't know if I'll have time to do the reseller news. But if maybe, maybe not now, but maybe after the company leaves, depending on how tired I am. Um, you know, I will uh, try to do something like that maybe later on. Last night's been a crazy night. Uh, I was trying to do some doing research last night on eBay and stuff like that, and you know I'm a little, you know, uh, concerned about my sales and stuff like that because the the, the bills are the bills are coming in and uh, it's very slow, and uh, let alone I have two people that made purchases but uh, they, I accepted their offers but nobody made any you know they didn't pay up yet so uh, that money's got it's kind of got me a little there too and you might say it's only two how much going to be no, nothing all right home about but I like to get the stuff shipped out of here I like to get paid for it and ship it out uh, so that's got me a little you know a little upset about that but uh, I didn't end up going to sleep till two o'clock in the morning last night and uh, I ended up waking up around 6 37 so I mean I'm basically functioning on what four hours of sleep basically yeah if you look at it that two let's see two o'clock in the morning three four five six six four hours of sleep uh maybe six and eight maybe four and a half hours of sleep i'm functioning on <laughs> but i have to do what i got to do right you know so uh we'll see where it goes but anyway guys listen i'm gonna let you go thank you so much for hanging out and uh you know checking out my video i just wanted to share that news with you guys and again i want to give a shout out to all the new uh youtube subscribers YouTube, all the subscribe. Well, actually, you are you, my YouTube subscribers who follow me on this channel. I hope you like the content again. And uh, if you get something out of it, you know, let me know. Drop a comment in there. Hey, I like a video. No, I don't like video. Whatever. If you, I, mean, I don't. I don't respond to nasty comments, though. I will tell you that. So uh, I don't respond to nasty comments. So if you got something, if you want to leave me a nice comment, I will respond to it. And uh, I, you know, we'll see how it goes. You know. And in the end, and, and uh, in closing. I hope you guys get you get your Christmas shopping done because, folks, it is coming quick. I I can't believe how fast the weeks are going. Could you believe? Next week is going to be what? The uh, today is the uh, sixth. And next week is the tenth. Yeah. Before you know it, I mean, before before you know it, that Christmas will be here. 
I, I never seen time go so fast. <laughs> I mean, I'm getting stuff from my, I'm getting stuff from the H and R Block and stuff like that. You know, we get where we're, H and R Block is because I use them there, but there's a CPA that it works there, and I, I use that uh, that service on occasion. Um, they they already sent me emails. We got you covered for you know we we, we you know, be prepared for uh, 29 wait, wait, for the, the new tax season coming up. And I'm saying myself, oh my gosh, I've got, <laughs> we didn't get to January yet, and I already talked about tax season. You know, so uh, and that's the other thing too. 2019, folks. Remember, there's gonna be some changes going on with eBay uh, as far as collecting sales tax. Now, I don't know how many com uh, con countries. I don't know how many states are jumping in. I know there's three right now. I I can't think of all. I think one is. I'm not sure if one is Pennsylvania. Oh boy, I don't know. I the, the other two I can't remember offhand. I don't want to just throw them out there because you know if I'm, I'm, I might be saying the wrong states, but I know there's a to I think a total of three that are that are already uh, been it's been enacted on that part where if you sell in those states, uh, you you know you're supposed to be collecting sales tax at least I think unless it's going to happen in 2019, that's when it fully goes uh, to full operation. But um, I haven't noticed too much on the well, like I said, I'm in New York, so. I don't see, you know, I don't, I don't, I haven't seen anything else come out about that. I've been hearing news re recently on it, um, but if I do, I will put it out there for you guys. But uh, it ought to be interesting to see how that works out, you know. And then the other thing on top of it too, I heard the post office, uh, the fees are going up too on first class. I believe it's going to fifty. It's fifty cents now, I believe. It's going to go fifty-five cents. So it's going to be a little detrimental, but it's going to be a little impact on that. Uh, I think I did in a video yesterday. I was talking about it. I don't know if it was e-commerce bites or one of those other websites where people did they, on a survey they did there that people do look uh, for you know buys and they they do look for the free shipping. So uh, supposedly uh, that that's, that's something you want to keep in mind. But remember one thing, folks. I always look at it this way. Then nothing in this world is quote unquote for free. Um, if you're going to um, offer free shipping, make sure you pay that price in there because if you don't and you just Verbatimly throw it out there and think like you know. All right, if you offer, well, here's the thing. I just will say this: if you're going to offer free shipping, do not offer Best Buy. Okay, Best Offer, Best Buy, Best Offer. Because what happens is, you know, if you got a set price on that item, and somebody says I want to make a Best Offer, now it's all up to you too. You don't have you could decline them too, but if you're going to, you know, it depends how much you're willing to sacrifice and lose. Okay, um, I've had Best Offers. Uh, I don't I don't offer free shipping. I can't afford to offer free shipping because for some reason I don't get the items cheap enough. But if you're going to offer free shipping, don't use the best offer thing because if you do, unless you have a price point as to what how much you're looking to make on it or a profit or not, you're gonna cut your, your if you do offer it and you, you you paid a decent buck for it and you didn't get it like for a good price, you're gonna cut your profit margin down really low, you know. Uh, and sometimes it might be in a wash. I've had it where I never accept a free offer. But um, a free offer. No. I have a free shipping. Gosh. See, you can tell I'm getting tired. Um, where the a person uh, had, I had best offer on an item, and the person was, it was a ridiculous offer. The person, I had, I think, for, I don't know, if it was like seven ninety nine or whatever. The person, the buyer, had the nerve to say, I'll give you a dollar for it, right? I think it was a souvenir type of thing. And I want free shipping. I didn't even bother responding. I just hit the boop. I hit the decline button. That is an insult if I ever heard it. The item was like, it was like $7.99 if I'm it was I think it was a souvenir piece. And then you had the nerve to offer me a dollar. And then you want free shipping? Why don't you just tell me you want it for free? I'll, I don't even bother paying for it. I'll, I'll just send it to you. I'll pay, I'll take the check. I mean, give me a break. You know? I mean, some people, they they I don't know if they're the right frame of mind when they're making these offers or not, or they got their mind somewhere else. But how could you? How could you just sit there and act, and actually? That's like me walking to Walmart and saying, "Listen, you see this toaster here? You're charging thirty nine dollars for it. I want a deal on it. I'll tell you what. I'm going to give you ten bucks for it, and I don't want you to charge me any store tax. Yeah, you know, they throw you out of the store. They say you're a nut. You know, get out of here. This guy's crazy. He comes in. I mean, what? What do these people think? I mean, how are you supposed to make a living on here um, if you? <laughs> If you're gonna let the person dictate to you uh, what they want to what they want to give you, you know, I mean that's that's kind of funny. I mean, I, I, I don't people I say you find it amusing. I do find it amusing. I mean, I've gotten crazy things I don't talk about all the time on my YouTube channel about some things that buyers say and what they things they do and stuff. And then I read what other people talk about. 
And I said, my, I just sit there and or with this belief and say, this can't be, this can't be true. It can't be happening. <laughs> it can't be happening, but it, it is. That's the thing. It is happening. Anyway, guys, let me end this video. Um, I hope you like it. I'm sorry I'm rambling on. I just, uh, I just like to share these things with you guys. And that's what this channel is all about. Have a great day. It's Rich Pacini signing off. Until next time. Bye-bye.